Momofuku Asha Tingly Chili Wavy Noodles are in the most straightforward packaging I have ever seen. I've enjoyed Asha's air-dried, never-fried noodles in the past, and these Momofuku ones are always showing up in my ads, so I figured, why not? Inside the eco-friendly packaging, you'll find a squishy liquid sauce packet and a brick of thick, wavy noodles that look like the egg noodles my mom would make casseroles with when I was a kid. To prepare, boil them for at least four minutes or until totally soft, then drain out all the water, add to a bowl, and add the seasoning, which warns you to adjust amount accordingly. Well, mama's casserole didn't raise no coward, so I'm adding it all because I always worry with these drain noodles that they'll be gummy and dry if they're not lubricated enough. Yes, lubricated, shut up. They smell like chilies, yes, but I think the noodles have a smell of their own that I can't quite describe. It's a little funky, but not off-putting. As for the enormous and impressively long noodle pull, I'm pretty sure these are the thickest noodles I've ever eaten on the show. So I'll take my first bite, which is... Tangly. Tasty. Chilies are the dominant flavor, but there's also salt, soy, onion, and I'm pretty sure that half of the spice here is pepper-based. Like black and white seasoning pepper, not necessarily spicy pepper. I'm not entirely sure if I love them or not, but I like these noodles enough to keep eating them. At least, you'll have to believe I did, because at this point my camera crapped out and I lost all the footage of me finishing the noodles. As I ate through the bowl, I started to enjoy it a little more each time. Tingly is the perfect word. Not too spicy, but still packing heat. The thick noodles are also immensely filling. And I believe the same for this as I do the other Asha noodles, that they're an excellent base to build from. So until the next time I build a recipe or try more ad noodles, which is often, stay sweet.